Hello and welcome to this week's Angel Oracle card reading for week commencing the 4th of November 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your past, find your purpose, create your future, to raise your consciousness, understand why you are here, step out of that spiritual closet, to take the steps you need to do to be the best person you can be in this lifetime and take charge of your destiny. Now, this week we're going to be using Work Your Light Oracle Cards by Rebecca Campbell. But as always, before we get into this week's reading, I would like to say thank you so, so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me to be able to be of service to you and for you to trust me enough to use my services. So thank you so, so much. And at the moment, I don't have any uh, workshops going on. Um, but if you do want to connect with me, then obviously there is the membership. There is there are the programs that I run, get to know and understand your chakras, um, step into confidence, my soul path discovery program, which you would need to message me or contact me direct with regards to uh, finding out more and taking a step on doing that. Um, and also obviously my weekly card readings. Also, I'm going to be going live um, on Fridays at 3 p.m. Uh, offering you a guided meditation from a card for the um, weekend. So a nice chance for you to uh, relax uh, and get ready for the weekend. And then later in November, I've got a new show starting with the beautiful Sally Hart. Um, so look out for that one. And of course, my Normal Angels and Destiny show. So lots going on behind the scenes. Anyway, this, let's get into this week's reading. So as always... I'll give the cards a quick cleanse and a bless. So, what does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good for week commencing the 4th of November 2024? What does everyone who's watching this need to know for, for their highest good for week commencing with November 2024? So, we'll go with a, a um, line card. Oh, she says she nearly falls and breaks the furniture. <sighs> Okay, let's see what the other two cards are that are going to come out. Okay, so the cards we have, including the jumper, the jumper was Starseed, what lights you up? And we've also got get grounded, empaths, highly sensitives, connect with nature. And we have Pillar of light, your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Isn't that a beautiful card? Okay, so what the cards are saying to me this week um, is that what lights you up? And I think we might have had something similar last week. You know, in fact, I think we're keeping getting similar patterns coming up, which means we're not listening. So what lights you up? What's... Um, what sets you on fire? What sets your heart racing? You know, what calls you? You know, what are you supposed to be doing in your life? You know, what do you want to do to make it happy, to make it happier, to make it the most perfect life for you? What is What are you being drawn to? Are you being drawn to something um, artistic, um, practical, spiritual? You know, what, what, what is it that you're being called to do? You're being called to step up to now. You know, what makes you happy? What brings you joy? Is it painting? Is it um, knitting? Is it um, talking to people? Is it helping people? You know, what, what is it that lights you up? This is a week to really, truly get into that, you know, you know, because when you know what lights you up, when you understand, that helps guide you towards your purpose. That helps guide you towards taking the steps to do what you are, um, are supposed to be doing in this lifetime. You know, and if you're highly empathic, you're sensitive to what's going on out there, um, then you need to be grounding this week. In fact, all of us really do need to be grounding. And by grounding, that can help you understand what lights you up. You know, when, you, when you're grounding and that's, you know, that's being here on earth as well as being connected to the um, universe, 
you know, you can be in a plane and still be grounded because your energy has to be centered into you. So grounding is really you being centered in yourself. And nature is one of the best ways of doing that um, because of the energetic um, energy of nature. But again, even if you're on a, in a plane, you know, you just call in that energy and you ground within yourself, go into your heart, ground, go into, go into your belly, you know, into your root chakra. Make that, make that strong for when you're grounded, it's easier to see what lights you up. You're not um, as sensitive to things that are going on around you, things that, are that, things that distract you because you're more focused on where you're going and what you're doing. You know, and because your vibration is rising, all of our vibrations are rising, sometimes it can feel a little bit, whoa, where am I going? What's what's happening? You know, all these energies coming in. So grounding will really, really help you with that. And by going within, you get to know and your, and understand yourself. You are your oracle. What lights you up? Where are you supposed to be going? What are you supposed to be doing? Take the time this week. Go out in nature if you can, or if not, just ground yourself with chakra meditations. You know, just get yourself aligned, fully present, fully balanced. And you'll find that the answers will start coming through. And if you know what light already lights you up, then start doing those activities. Again, That is, they are things that will ground you, will bring you back to your centre will help you connect and understand what steps you are needing to take to move forward in your lifetime. So yeah, that's really all the cards are saying for me this week. As, as always, this is just my interpretation of the cards and you may get a completely different interpretation and that's absolutely fine. I draw these cards for what you need to know for your highest good. So if you do get a different reading or one card resonates more than the others, then do let me know. I always reply to everyone who messages me privately or comments publicly. So the cards we have are Starseed, what lights you up? And remember, this was a jumper. Take the time this week, what lights you up? Do it. Take the time to do it. And get grounded, you know, empaths, highly sensitives, connect with nature. Go out and connect with nature. Or if not, do chakra meditation. Just ground yourself, be fully back centred into you. Because when you're fully ground and centred, it makes it easier to see what lights you up. And if you start doing what lights you up, that activity, that grounds you as well. That brings you back into your being. And pillar of light, your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Know that your vibration is rising and that you can get your own answers to where you're going. And that includes finding what lights you up, doing what lights you up and allowing yourself to ground, to come fully back to the present, to get the answers you need to move your life forward. So I hope you enjoyed that reading. Um, don't forget to check out everything I offer. And obviously I do offer a free 20 minute video call to discuss where you are now and where you'd like to go and whether I can actually help you get there um, on your journey. And don't forget, um, you can get um, a free PDF guide to connect with your angels, your um, guides, or a free future life progression recording um, if you sign up to my weekly newsletter, which gives you obviously the card reading, but also a little some astrology, bits and pieces, and there are some free gifts and what I'm getting up to with all the new with all the new stuff that I am working on behind the scenes, etc. And um, with the newsletter, I do offer discounts and uh, various things um, for my uh, subscribers. Um, check out the membership and everything else I offer. There's a lot of past life stuff going on at the moment. Um, that we need to clear and understand from. And that's um, really what a lot of my clients are coming in at the moment for past life regression. So if you feel that there is, there are things that are holding you back that you think might be um, past life issues, whether this lifetime or previous lifetimes, then do get in touch. Um, I'd love to be able to help you on that. Um, check out my programs, get to know and understand your chakras program um, is a good way of uh, getting your chakras in line and in balance and getting to know them. Step into confidence, a brilliant guided meditation series. 
and of course my um, uh, Soul Path Discovery program. And don't forget to check out my show, Angels and Destiny, which if you're watching this um, today on Sunday the 3rd, is taking place tomorrow, Monday the 4th. If you're watching Monday the 4th, then it's taking place 8 p.m. UK time. And if you're watching later in the week, well, week, later in the week well, please do check out the replay. Um, and it's going to be an interesting show tomorrow. That's all I'm going to say. Have a wonderful week. Take care. Bye.